Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called Monster Harvest. This game was released on Steam on August 31st, 2021. Its regular price is $16.99 US, or your regional equivalent, and is developed by Maple Powered Games and published by Merge Games. So this is basically, uh, like, 80% Stardew Valley, 20% Pokemon. It's the best way to describe it. Um, it's described as a monster collecting and farming action RPG with a twist. Pokemon and Stardew Valley, pretty much. I've played about half an hour just to um, get a get a feel for the game, so let's let's just pop back into it. Here we go. We're we're on our farm. Um, you know, if you've played Stardew Valley, which I've played a fair bit of Stardew Valley, uh, this game will be. Oh, can I harvest these? Oh, I can. This game will be uh, pretty pretty familiar to you. Um, you chop down trees. Your your farm is like overgrown and everything at the start. Clear rocks away, you hoe the soil, you plant crops and stuff, you, you fill up your, your watering can at a little lake, uh, and, and, and that's it. Um, that's that's the... I just filled this up. There we go. That's the farming part. Like, you know, if you've played Stardew, you'll you'll know this game. Uh, it obviously doesn't look as good as Stardew Valley. Um, like, the UI is not brilliant. Like, it's got this pixel art, uh, like, art style, and then just the fonts, like not as pixely as the rest of it, it just looks quite out of place. Um, we're in the dry season right now, which is I think spring. There's no time of day or anything like that, um, that I've seen, like there's no way to tell what the, the time is. Uh, let's harvest these, what even are these? I think these are potatoes, let's have a look. Uh, they're mutatoes, of course. And you'll see that the bottom right one is glowing red. That's because I, I put a red slime in it. I did that as well there. So let's see what happens when I harvest this one. Oh, hello. I've got a planimal following me now. He is my Mutanko. That, that's that's my Pokemon. Uh, he's level one. He needs to get some experience. That, that That's our guy. <laughs> there, there he is. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> um, we can go sell our crops and stuff just at this signboard. That's where you put them. Mutatoes. Go. Uh, I'll probably go buy some more potato seeds. Do I, do I have much money right now? I've got 330 bucks. I don't know if that's enough money for uh, like as many potatoes as I would like. Or mutatoes. Um, our, this is the town up ahead here. Here we are. We just pop into the general store. Things load really quickly. I do like that. Like Going in and out is instantaneous. I think it is in like Stardew, but... Um... So it's spring or dry season right now. This is the shop's supply. And I thought, oh, you know, maybe maybe they'll get more, you know, different types of crops and stuff as, you know, in year two or something. Apparently just there's just eight crops. There's there's two per season and they're basically exactly the same as each other. <laughs> um, is it eight? I think it might be, it's eight or 12. Right, sorry, that's 12 crops. So there's actually only three seasons, four crops each. Um, I've only got two here right now. Let's get nine of these. Do I have enough money for nine? No, I've got enough money for six. That'll do. Off we go. Uh, let's go back back home. You can do a nifty dodge roll with uh, with space. That's kind of cool. Oh, is that something to pick up? Yes. Sell them for a few gold. Sounds great. Oh, is that another one? Yes. Uh, you can see we've got an energy bar, like Stardew's stamina system. It went down when I watered things. There's also an XP bar which instead of Stardew where each skill has its own XP, um, basically you just have a, a general experience and just, just doing things makes you your character level up in general. Let's get these these six potato seeds planted. There we go, that'll that'll do. For some reason I didn't plant in the, the one tile here that's been watered. <laughs> there we go. You can see my, my energy's gone down a fair bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chop down like a couple of trees here or something, and then go to bed so we can get to evening. Look at how fast that energy goes down as well. It's crazy. Let's get this tree. It's uh the game's the game's fairly buggy. Like it, it feels like an early access game. They've been working on it a lot. They've been patching it a lot. But oh look there we go. It's got level three. Um, but it still feels pretty buggy. Like I think it's had two patches since I last played it, and like one of the bugs is still there. So. Let's chop this tree, and I'm going to instantly try and move into the spot where it was. 
you can see the, the hitbox of the tree just stays there for a long time. Kind of a weird bug. Okay, I'm running out of stamina now, so let's let's go have a snooze. Because we can actually sleep till evening. Which should give me back my stamina, it gives me some back. And then once it gets to evening, um, so like I said, like there's no night-day cycle, really, like you advance it to night if you want, or you can just skip to the next day. Uh, but what you can do in the evening is you can go to the mines, or the dungeon, I guess, which is just north of the town. So we're going to go there and I can show off the uh, combat. Uh, unfortunately, it's quite difficult to, to get through the town because there's like fences everywhere. So like to get out is just kind of awkward. I feel like you go up here a fair bit, but um, just kind of awkward to get up here. That's that's my uncle. That's uh, Rick Sanchez, I think. Pretty sure that's what he is. And then when we get in, we get uh, like a, a Binding of Isaac room system, I guess. There's nothing in this first room. And we got to attack the things first. Here we go, die! And this is the combat. Uh, my level one Mutanko is facing this level two Bringer. And you can see, because um, he's level one, he's only got one skill. Apparently all the um, planimals, I think that's what they're called, have just this one attack. Or like have the exact same attacks. Okay, he also does six damage, so I can kill him. My last planimal did die. Um, so I think probably just fighting this one thing and then leaving is the, the best thing for me to do. At least until I can get some more planimals. I've got a, a radish one um, growing pretty soon. And then hopefully let this guy will heal overnight or something. Because I kind of need him to level up. What's he get? There we go. Okay, so if, you know, if we come back... Oh, a brainkin seed. Dry season. Perfect. Ah, so that's how you get more seeds in the store. Perfect. Uh, let's get some ore. Some iron ore here. Are you, oh, that's the wrong tool. Lol. There we go. Uh, I guess we got some copper as well. Gold, nice. Okay, there's nothing else. We, we don't need any of the other stuff. I'll grab a rock, I guess. We'll have a little poke in here. I don't want to fight anything else. <gasps> Is there nothing to fight? That's pretty lucky. So I really don't want to fight anything. What do we get here? I'm full. Uh, I need to get rid of that. Red crystal. Craft slime and even super slime. Nice. Can't do anything with that. Get a little bit more gold. Then we are out of here. Actually, I can just grab the iron here. Perfect. We're off. We're done here. Actually, should probably craft a, a chest or something for my ore. So we go I and then go crafting. Chest. 25 wood. Perfect. I don't have any space for it. Oh, we can plant my brainkin seed. Just plop that up there. Uh, and now, craft my chest. Uh, let's just stick that uh, there. Sure. Uh, left click. Left click. You did, do you have to click with something? I don't, okay, you right click it, I think. Everything else is like single uh, left click. Let's get all that in there. And those as well. There we go. I think it's like a thousand gold for the um, the next upgrade. Uh, backpack upgrade. Which I'm not ready for. I, I do not have that much money. Although, holy crap, look. 800 just from those mutatoes. Are you stuck in the bed? That's, that's fine, I'm sure. Are these ready yet? Oh, they are. Holy shit, yes. Let's see what this gives me. Another planimal. There he is. I've got a rad cross as well. Sweet. I'm going to go back into the dungeon tonight and see like, how much more damage and stuff I can do with, with two of them. Because you get given a, a potato one at the start, and um, I lost it very quickly. Oh, those only give 60 bucks. The potatoes were worth more, weren't they? That's weird. Let's go buy a bunch more radishes or potatoes. Oh, I don't even know what's the best one to get now. 
Oh, right. Radishes only take four days to grow. That's why they're cheaper. Uh, well, let's just go all in on the potatoes then. Do I want to... Or do I want more of these? I think these are basically the same as the mutatoes. So there's three seasons with four crops each. Every single crop's the exact same. They're either a four-day crop, a six-day crop, or an eight-day crop. They all cost the exact same and give the same value back. <laughs> so <laughs> there's like no difference between the seasons pretty much. Um, let's just, just buy a bunch of these. Try and get like ten of these. Or like nine of those and then like nine of these. Okay, good enough. Spent all my money. I think someone in town can upgrade my tools with like um, the ores I brought back. Um, I haven't looked into it too much yet. But like for now this is manageable, but like many more crops than this, I'd probably want like a better watering can. Okay, well I think let's let's wait for night and see what the dungeon is like. With uh two planimals. Assuming this guy healed, he did heal, so that's good. But, like that that's kinda tedious, like uh, when I had my my tutorial one, uh, he died in the second fight. So like, he did one fight, wasn't enough to level him up. The second fight would have been, but he didn't have the health for it, so he just died. So like, when you get your first one, you have to go into the dungeon, fight one thing, and then leave. So uh, maybe let's see if it's any better with, with two. I guess I'll kill this big fucking slime thing. There we go. I can um, plant that on... Um, on one of the, the, the crops I put in, and it'll give me another planimal. So I should probably do that. I'm ready, ready to fight this fucking thing. This fucking frog. Frippo. I really only get one one guy out at a time? Why? The combat seems so tedious. And like also kind of slow already. Like I would quite like if you could uh, speed it up a little bit. Wow, my Mutanko is going to level up and he's going to be able to fight something else. Amazing. Here he goes. Yay, level two. What'd I get? I got a Bunyan. Uh, good. Good, good. Apparently all the ores um, like have the exact same value as well for some reason. Like uh, Iron, I think, is like the most common one. Has like the same... Um, value as the the fourth tier one so this is 30 bucks look it's intermediate crafter material 30 bucks advanced crafter material 30 bucks and whatever the other two after that are are the same which is uh interesting why can i only have one guy out that's really annoying oh it looks like he healed when i leveled up so that's pretty good so i can like go all out with this guy right now but my uh, fribbish, my radish or whatever. Can't do too much. In fact, I can't do another fight with him now. Because <laughs> he's almost dead. He almost leveled, though. Okay, how do we swap? There. That was that was quite easy. Alright, level four. Make a scarecrow. I learned how to make a scarecrow from mining a big red crystal in the dungeon. Uh, let's eat this or something. How do I eat? Scroll to it, maybe? Yes. The items on the ground disappear so quickly. Like, you see, I didn't get that red crystal because it took me uh, a long time. And by a long time, I mean like five seconds to navigate my inventory. And uh, I lost my item. That's a bit annoying. This game is also not early access. And it feels very early access. Like, they've been doing patches, like, <laughs> every couple of days since it came out. And, uh... I oh know, like, that doesn't seem great for a non-early access game. Like, if you need... It's been out for less than two weeks at the time of recording. I think it's on ha uh, Hotfix 6. <laughs> if you need that much work on a game uh, post-release, that's an early access title. <laughs> There we go, we're, we're done in the dungeon for today. Nobody nobody else has the HP to keep going. So we're out of here. There we go, eat those yams really quickly, yes. And it's gone, for fuck's sake. Oh no, I got it. <laughs> Jesus. It was pretty close to the, the time limit of it disappearing, though. Um, And that's, that's, that's really the game, like, as much as I've played it so far. Like, you know, I'm only a week into the game. I've played less than an hour. 
but I'm not like super inclined to play much more, I'll be honest. Like it, it feels a little like hollow, I guess. I don't know, it feels like kind of soulless. <laughs> it, it really does feel like the, you know, they, they came up with the idea of what if Stardew Valley, but Pokemon, and they built a game off that, which is like obviously how you come up with game ideas. You come up with an idea and then you make the game, but like, just feels like it didn't advance too much further than Stardew Valley and Pokemon. Like it doesn't have much of its own, I guess. Uh, and it just makes me want to play Stardew Valley instead. <laughs> At least you can shift click, that's pretty good. Let's actually also plant this there. There we go. Uh, and let's 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 go to bed with my little planimals. There we go. We got 680 bucks now. Probably save that for a backpack. I mean, I would, but I'm not going to play any more of this game. Also, you can't change the options when you're in game. You can only go back to the title screen to change the options. The options aren't that good. Like, um, it saves. Uh, when you get your your money screen after going to bed, so I'm I'm okay to go back. Like if we go back, if we look at the settings. Like there's not much in the way of settings. I don't know why that couldn't be in game. Like the fact that you have to go back to the the main menu from in the game to tweak your volume settings is not very good. Let's be honest. Anyway, that was a look at Monster Harvest. It's it's okay. I'm not like blown away by it. I'm. Not gonna keep playing it, but um, I got emails about it. I don't know if they mentioned Stardew Valley meets Pokemon, but like it's been pretty clear to me since like two minutes into the game that that's exactly what it is. So you know, it sounded interesting, sounded like something I should check out. I, just, you know, Stardew Valley is just a, a much better game anyway. There you go, that was a look at Monster Harvest. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.